I mean, they didn't really show phase 1 on the clip, but for phase 2, there isn't really any healer specific mechanic, but sanctity of the ward, I mean. Okay, they're doing the okay relative, that means less healing and mitigation needed. So, of course, that's normal. There's only one healer. Okay, they get through that easily, that's fine. Wait, how did they reproduce? Oh! He just dashed onto the wrong spot? What? Wait, are they gonna make it? What? Huh? Did they just get lucky? Or? No. Wait up. They, they just got lucky, that's... Yeah, it was on the other side, I could not see well from this POV. For phase 3, I don't think there is any healer specific mechanic, it's just random. Then they are dropping really low on the stack there, but that should be fine. They still got it mitigated enough. Yep, they are definitely doing the weak one strats here. That is pretty much the norm. Wasn't that... Uh, yeah, they are obliterating the phase DPS check here. Uh, well, I guess that's uh, just normal because 5 DPSs and uh, everyone is really good here to be able to pull this off. But what I'm more interested to know is how do they do the intermission phase? Like how does Astrologian just handle the solo healing? What does the uh, Paladin do Clemencies as well there? I'm not sure. So he heals everyone with... Uh, wait. Okay, Tankal B then Aspected Helios. Let's see. Is the Paladin gonna cause Clemency to heal here or... Thastrogen can... Okay, he keeps on costing Aspected Helios. There is a lot of mitigations here, as you can see. No clemency at all? Really? And just an horoscope heal? In phase 5, there isn't really any healer specific mechanic either here. Like, it's just all random and they're just gonna do it the same way. What I'm more interested to know is how do they resolve phase 6? Like, there might be a tech LB3, probably? We will see as we go, but like how do they know on which players it is on because there's only one healer? Is it just random, like let's just get lucky or what? They drop really low here, holy shit. Yeah, DPS check is not an issue. They are not costing LB here as well. I'm guessing they probably will cost LB3, honestly, like... Wait... The Dark Knight costs Living Dead here, so... Does he mitigate later? Wait, I, I, I'm interested to know in that as well, what? Alright, phase 6 starts here, so... How was it going to handle that? healer Akafa thing. Okay, okay. They are doing the same strat as we did. I believe this is one of the best strats to do either because it's so much safer. Like there is Mortal Vow, then uh, it's Akafa. So here the Astrologian stays on the left. Everyone moves to the right. Is he just gonna suck? But What? Wait, the paladin came to stack with the uh, astrologian. But they are just gonna take that with two players? Like, there is no cover as well. There is oblation, I'm guessing TBN will come soon as well. 
Yeah, here is Tibian. Wait, okay, there is intervention as well. So they just over mitigate this and take this by two players? Because tanks definitely will survive this. Really? Okay, so they just make the healer stuck with the tank and. And how is it gonna do the second one then? There is no mitigation. I would be guessing it would probably be a LB3, tank LB3 definitely, probably. Maybe they will suck and get lucky, I'm not sure. Let's see. Raw flames. Will the healer be able to solo heal this though? I mean, it's astrologian, it's definitely powerful, but how many mitigations? Okay, they just keep in sync everything here. Okay, yeah, Astral John can definitely solo heal this spot. Holy shit. And the rest gets resolved. That makes sense. But, like, there is Akava soon, right? So, how was it gonna resolve that? Okay, I was right. Definitely there. Yeah, you, you need Tech LB3 to survive this. Holy shit. I mean, that pretty much resolved all of the mechanics here, but like, how is the Dark Knight going to survive alone without uh, Living Dead? Did they just over mitigate here? Okay, so the Dark Knight... Okay, I guess there was a lot of mitigations on the Dark Knight. And they just get through this phase. Holy fuck. Okay, so how do they handle like solo healing uh, Giga and, and so many Akmon edges? Let's see. 1k! <laughs> okay. They, they barely survived this. Holy fuck. So, what strat does it do for Exa Flares? Probably JP Dodge. Yep, definitely. First Akmon Edge. Yeah, they, they have that really planned out. But how are they going to handle the rest though? Like after this, it's Giga Flare, right? Yep. Outside, so there is a little leeway. How, how many mitigations they actually have here? There is Astrogen Thingy. There is Mantra. And I can't see properly in this resolution though. That's... That's really interesting though, like they just... Survive this without any issue. It's going to be Akumon Edge number 2. This is out. The Reaper is low. Move in. Wait. Oh. Okay, that's that's genius. Okay, so they use Living Dead earlier, so Living Dead comes back here and they make the Dark Knight take it solo. That's that's really genius though, like I mean, uh, if you have two healers, there's no need for that, but like here they basically just make the paladin move elsewhere and they just take less damage. That's amazing. Okay, Microcosmos just topped everyone and, and here, here they are. So after that it's Akmon Edge 2 and, and they are just gonna get the clear or... No, 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 it's exactly before I lost Akmon Edge. So out, they go in. Ah, 
I mean, they just obliterated the DPS check there. Holy fuck, dude! Like, they just cleared. Wow. And I, I just love how they just put one Dark Knight take it all. Like, where was it? So second Akmon Edge, the Living Dead. So he takes that alone. Yeah, that's that's just genius, man. Just really genius there. Amazing man, what an amazing fight. Holy shit dude. Wow.